right to the right, we have the graph, this blue curve, which represents y equals the inverse sine of x over 4. And I've only shown it for values of x between 0 and 4 inclusive. Now to find this point of intersection, you could say when x equals 4, put 4 in for x, and you get the inverse sine of 1, which is pi over 2. That's where we get this y value right here. Now we're supposed to find the area of this region uh, integrating with respect to y. So on the next board, we'll see that I have solved the original function for uh, x in terms of y by saying, well, if y is the angle that has a sine of x over 4, then x over 4 must equal the sine of y. So x equals 4 sine y. That represents this distance right here. And what we want is this length right here. Let me go to red. And that, that'll be the length of a rectangle. If I most and show you what I mean by a typical rectangle, focus on that horizontal dashed green line there. That the length of that typical rectangle changes. It's always this distance from here to here is always four. Take away this distance, which is always four sine of y. And we have to subtract that to get the length of this rectangle. And then, of course, dy represents the width of the typical rectangle. So here's what the integral looks like. Oh, and by the way, I did this for uh, finding area with respect to x and got this 2.283. But here's our integral right here. There's the length of the rectangle, there's the width of the rectangle, and we're piling them on top of each other from 0 to pi over 2. Looks like that's the answer. Where'd that come from? I found the antiderivative of 4 minus 4 sine y. Uh, the antiderivative of sine is negative cosine from 0 to pi over 2. Substitute pi over 2. You can pause the video and take a look at all the steps if you need to. But there's your answer, 2 pi over 4. Again, with respect to y, you had to solve for x in terms of y so that you could get that distance from 0 to here, subtracting from 4 to get the length of the rectangle. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. Thank you.